Welcome back to Just My Two Cents. We are here with the UCS Finita Class Republic Attack Cruiser. This set is going to weigh in about 5,374 pieces. Going to take you to the bank about 650 bucks. Let's dive right in. All right, let's start up like this. So not one, two, three, four. Four books to learn from, four books. I felt like I was in Brick University. Lego is taking you to school with these four textbooks here. Um, all different design on the cover. Lots of jam action packed building. All right, inside the oversized box, I find two boxes inside that are mid-sized. This is box number one. All right, here's a rear shot of the Star Destroyer itself. It seems like the jets on that thing are really glowing through the photo. On the other side, you have the Star Destroyer in the atmosphere of a planet, and you can see it in action right here. Man, the box art is through the roof on this one here. Next, we're headed for box number two. And yes, yes, two boxes. Just when you're done, they pull you back in. All right, so look at the box art of the UCS Venator. Uh, let me get on the other side here. And this is the actual, uh, another picture of the box art uh, with many Venators floating through space. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. This definitely took me a while to press out, but work with your boy here. Here's my review. It took me a little while to press these plates out, and so now here we go. All right, let's uh, take a look from front to back. Man, that nose of the ship is fleek. I love this red stripe going straight down the middle. I love the use of the red tiles here. A lot of slopes, a lot of slopes for the command center. Now, if you take a look, as you see, the jets in the back, they do sag. So don't think that, you know, you put something on wrong, they just sag. I'm trying to find a way to fix that. Love the Easter egg of the gunship. Now here where things get a little bit dicey, right? You see what I see. Just plates, really nothing to really look at on the underside, very plain. Um, you have the, the opening bay right here, but that's about it. Like it's just, at the bottom of it is very plain. And I know that like a lot of Star Wars ships are plain underneath, but give me something. So count them, my friend, you get eight jet propulsors. One, two, three, four on the left side and four on the right side you also get eight turret guns you got one two three four on the right side and another four on the left side Here we're looking at the display stand. There's Captain Rex and Admiral Euleran minifigures. It also comes with a brick insignia of the Clone Wars, the 20 year anniversary of Clone Wars. Man, the time has flown by so fast. There it is, all the specs of the Venator class Star Destroyer there. All right, let's take a look at Captain Rex. Captain Rex has a lot of print on his arms, on the helmet. I think uh, they kind of pull out as much of the stops as they could, uh, being that you know he's factory bound anyhow. This is not aftermarket, so I think this is the best Captain Rex non-aftermarket you're going to get. All right, let's take a look at Admiral Euleran. All right, I think this is might be the first Euleran that I 
acquire i don't know if he's in other sets he probably is if he is please let me know in the chat below man that insignia anniversary brick is fire here it is the new ucs Venator class star destroyer in all its glory all right here's my two cents this thing looks sleek right very eye-catching for display only. When I say display only, here's some things that maybe maybe the design team missed is that, you know, you got the turrets here, it would have been good to see that these, these Gatlet guns here probably would have like been able to move a little bit, or even the, the bay here in the movie, the bay opens up and that's where all the, the, the smaller uh, star fighters fly out at. This opens, but it opens into the Technic housing, right? Also, you can move these here turrets just a bit, but they are so detailed with the little tiny pieces here. Right here, they pop off and they can pop back on, but you can kind of pose them in a kind of way. This set isn't for play, just display only. And I think if you come to terms with that, then you could be okay with cashing in at $650 at the bank. It takes away from the display. If you're worried about the aesthetics, I think the eyesore would be these pieces here, trying to fasten them a little bit tighter so that they stay in the upright position instead of sagging, I think would be for a Lego master. One of the things that I do wish is that if you open the top here, that you can see some interior or even here in the control center where you can you can open up and see some of the some of the things that happens on the inside. But I think at that point you might take it out of scale, being that on the Easter egg is very, very midi scale.